news. Well, it officially is a cold, a closed case, rather, but don't tell that to the father of Josh Zostak, who still considers his son's death to be a cold case. Josh disappeared in late December of 2007. Police said that after a night of drinking, he wandered to the Port of Albany, fell into the Hudson, and drowned. But Ed O'Brien reports tonight that there are some new developments which could lead to murder charges in a story that you'll see only on 6. Let me put you in my shoes. Your dad, your son, wouldn't you do everything you possibly can? Six years after the body of Josh Sostak was found in the Hudson River in Cooksocking, a death later ruled an accidental drowning, the many questions surrounding the case are still out there. And that's what makes this one so unusual. Albany police quickly closed the books on their investigation, but Josh's father never bought their version of what happened on that night, a night that began here at what at the time was the Bayou Cafe. And tonight, new information in the case. Bill Sostak tells me his tireless pursuit may soon pay dividends. I got a lot of stuff. Um, according to the federal agencies that are looking at what I have, I feel as though that we're heading towards uh, potential indictments. There are persons of interest we're looking at. Bill gives a big assist to a group called Find Me, formed by a retired agent with the Drug Enforcement Administration. He later joined the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children before launching his organization. But make no mistake, Bill has done a lot of this on his own. After getting a handwritten letter he saw as a threat from someone who he says was directly involved in his son's death, the two later agreed to meet at a Kingston hotel. Agents brought me down there. Um, I had a vest, I was wired. And along the way, the case took some bizarre turns. We were introduced to the so-called smiley-faced killers, blamed for targeting several dozen college-age men like Josh, men whose bodies were later found in bodies of water. But Bill now tells me that theory proved a dead end. Unfortunately, that, that really tainted with law enforcement looking at it as a, a UFO sighting or a Bigfoot sighting or whatever. But this is deadly serious business. Bill still pours over the surveillance video. He says police ignored. That's Josh right there. And he's posted it on YouTube. He still talks of discrepancies in the evidence and complains that police move too quickly in closing this one. I'm slowly chipping away at the wall. And uh, I won't stop until we get whoever um, did what they did to my son. Ed O'Brien, CBS 6 News.